Good morning everybody, welcome to today's vlog. I'm going to be um, showing you a week in the life of a medical student. I'm going to try to film uh, snippets of my life during this first week in person. And I'm really excited to show you what I learned this week and, and what I do. I just got here to school, it's 7.20 a.m. I got here a little later, I'm trying to maybe for tomorrow and the rest of the days um, get here at 7 so that I can get my uh, get my stuff ready and study a little bit, review a little bit before I start class. But yeah, today it was just a hassle to wake up early. Um, I haven't been waking up early in the summer, so I have to get used to it. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to head into the building now. And yeah, just organize things up. I'm going to show you what I can throughout my week. Hi guys, so I just came back from my first in-person lecture ever and as the nerd that I am, I got to ask the professor some questions at the end of the lecture and that, I, I couldn't believe it because like it's been a year since I don't get to do that and sometimes I do have questions right after that I don't get to ask because like it's annoying to send an email or whatever and just um, think that time passes by. So now I'm here in the study room. I stayed in school to do the other two lectures which are pre-recorded so we're gonna have a mixture of in-person and pre-recorded pre lectures so I'm gonna stay do these and then go um, home for lunch but yeah the first lecture was really interesting and fun and interactive which I really enjoyed so I just finished doing my study session on campus and now I'm going home because I need to have lunch so I'm gonna go home now have lunch before and then just do maybe a little bit of more reviewing and some questions before I go to the simulation center we're gonna do suturing and injections today so I'll show you a little more of that okay I'm going again you're supposed to use this to like all that like that. It's pretty good for a first Right, future surgeon? It's your first time. Well, right? You're, you're a future surgeon. You, you. I would love to be a future surgeon. I would love to be a surgeon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you leave about that much left? Yes. It's a good tail. Okay. And then you let go of everything. You leave this in the, oops, in the sterile environment. Yes. So I'm and still then, recording. Yeah. <laughs> you got it all. And then you go like this. Yes. One more time. I have no idea. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no idea Thank you, babe. He asked me what happened. He can't figure out what he did with his knot. I have no idea. Two separate knots. <laughs> okay, this is in the opposite direction. And then, you grab it to the tip. You pull it the opposite direction. Right, future sir? Is this correct? Yeah. 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 One more time, huh? Yeah. This is two knots, but this is two. It's two. You only do one time. So you don't need to do this? No, like this. Right there, perfect. That's one. That's one. If you were to be doing the first one, it would be one and then two. Yes. Oh, okay. One is this. Okay. Yes. When you pull it through. But it lost there. Perfect. Uh, Start over. Yeah. Anymore? Finish like this. Inject the air. Yeah. 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 One last thing. That was a good point that you just made when I was watching you. If you're ever in a surgery, or when you're in surgery, or when you're doing something, and you have a sterile tray. You always want to. If you keep, if you hold it like this, and even though you don't have gloves on, and you open it up, it'll still be sterile. Right. So if somebody says get a syringe, you take it carefully. You don't put your hands or anything. Just hold it over and drop it out. And put it in the thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And something like someday you may do a bone marrow. Oh, I'm supposed to not push too much. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> and then go with the bevel part up. Can 
can't even see. Okay. When you do it, you put it straight down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're so right. Right. You don't know your own strength. Okay, yeah. there you go. You see the little bubble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday. I know yesterday I didn't get to blog a lot. I didn't capture a lot of what we did. We did. We did have some really interesting. Uh, workshops in the afternoon. I think I put a little bit of footage. We learned how to suture and how to do different type of injections. That was really fun and interesting. And now um, today we have some lectures on focus history and physical, more cardiac function lectures, and and we're meeting also our M1 mentee because since I'm already an M2, I get an M1 mentee the same way I got a mentor last year who was just amazing with me last year. So I wanna um, do something similar with, with the M1 mentee that I get. Um, so yeah, just uh, follow me along. Hi guys, I'm here in the study room again. I've been here for like an hour just doing some questions before starting to review our lectures. So we're packing in the... That's not good, right? Because you're not helping yeah. the room. Like so sometimes that little piece can sort of get infected. Right, right. Does it need to end up like thick as the abscess was before? It will, it will end up, yeah, puffy. But you'll see, what happens is this is sort of a balloon, so the skin will have flattened out from the abscess. That's it. Um, <laughs> still here. Look, let me give me a hand. Feel this. You feel it? Mm -hmm. So what you'll do now, you just try to go back a little. You use this. Go like this. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt. Huh? Like at all. Do, do this. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah. See it? Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. It's okay. With me at least. I don't know about the other part parties. Yay! Yay! ABF, and then the chest lead, okay, and we Hello everyone, welcome to today's video, and uh, today's a really exciting day because it's the white coat ceremony. I'm very, very excited to receive my white coat in person. I had a virtual um, ceremony last year, but it was not as, you know, as exciting as this one. So I'm excited to show you how it's going to be, and yeah, join me in the process. To formally close the class of 2024. <laughs> but together, we have found ways to persevere and succeed as a community. Realizando el error, es imposible no verla, verla allí. Brian Sapper. Tom, please join me at the podium for the class of 2024 oath. Only the students will recite their oath. However, I call your attention to the screens behind me. As the students of the Charles E. Schmidt College of Medicine Class of 2024, we pledge to be respectful, inclusive, and culturally sensitive towards our peers and patients. Embody anti-racism while actively combating healthcare disparities. Value the opportunity to learn medicine and recognize the privilege of serving patients. Demonstrate high emotional intelligence to create a safe and inclusive environment that 
that fosters open communication and trust. Exemplify professionalism, integrity, and respect for boundaries. Commit, up, commit ourselves to continually expanding our medical and cultural knowledge to benefit our patients. Collaborate with and empower our peers to create a non-competitive learning atmosphere. Recognize our own limitations and be willing to embrace help from others. Helps to a life that will bring honor to our profession and above all, do no harm. Help la familia. Oh, Carla. Hey, hello. Hello, Melly. Me and we Dan. We love you. We're so proud of you. We are really, really proud of you, baby. We're doing what you're doing. <laughs> we'll see you soon. How did you feel in the ceremony? Super feliz. Super, super, super. Did you like it? Yeah. How are you? Go to the medic quickly so I can get out of the water. I'm so proud of you, my love. I'm so proud of you. Did you like it? Wait, we're going to do a vlog. Now I'm here just celebrating with my family. Mommy, meet him back up. And we're gonna have dinner, everybody together.